Okay, so how to apply different colors to the same object in Blender. So first of all, I'm sorry to inform you that this is not a real spaceship and you're not going home just yet. So you might as well learn a thing or two about how to apply multiple colors onto one object. So in this scene here, we have three different rings and three different ways we can apply multiple colors to one object. So let's just get into it. So the first thing I'm just going to do is select everything here and just exit away. Then we're going to change our mode into privy mode. And we're going to bring in another spaceship or Taurus if you want. So now we're going to create multiple colors onto this one object. So the way to do that is to go down to material properties, click on there, click on new. And now we're going to use this window to add different materials or colors onto this object. And the way to do that is by clicking this plus icon here. So every time you click it, you're adding a new material slot to this object. So we're going to click it a couple of times, plus a new. Then we're going to go into edit mode. We're going to deselect everything by going Alt A. And here we need to be in face select. Let's make sure that this box here is uh, checked. Or you can just click three on your numpad. And now we're going to select the ring. And a nice way to select the ring in Blender is by holding down Shift and Alt. And then go close to the edge here. And just select it like that. So now if we pick one of these materials, I'm going to pick this number two here. I'm going to change our color to blue. And we're going to click Assign. So now we have a blue color. And onto this mesh, we can do this one more time. So deselect everything by going Alt and A. Select one of these faces. Go close to the edge and hold down Shift and Alt and click. So now if we click on our next material, we change our color on the base color. I'm going to go with green. And we can just click Assign. So this is the first way to create multiple colors onto one object in Blender. I'm going to go to show you the second way. So just going to delete this spaceship here. I'm going to add in a new one, scale it up. And this time, I'm just going to make a small node tree. So we're going to go new. And here at the shader editor, we're going to bring in our color ramp. I'm going to use this plus icon here. We're going to click on this black and just change this to a blue, purple, and a yellow. So now we can connect the color into the base color. And when you do that, you just can have one single color. So this is obviously not what we want. So we need to add a couple of more nodes. So I'm going to go Shift A and separate X, Y, and C. You can connect it from anywhere. So I'm just going to use the X here. So the next node is a texture coordinate node. So go Shift A and find texture coordinate. We're going to connect it from the generated into the vector. And there we go. So now we have multiple colors on this one object. 
so I'm not going to go into how you can customize um, these colors so one way okay I'm, I can just show you super quick here so obviously you can move these values here change this linear to ease um, and there's a bunch of other stuff you can do as well but this is just a short overview to apply different colors to one object so let's get into the third way you can do this so we can go mesh torus or spaceship bring that in and from this last uh, way to apply colors onto one object we're not going to use any nodes or any materials we're just going to use light so i'm going to go shift a down to light i'm going to add in our uh, area light then i'm just going to rotate it on the y 90 degrees and i'm going to move it on the x then I can duplicate it and rotate it around on the C 180 degrees, move it on the X. So now we have two lights here on each side of this spaceship. So here at the light data, we can crank up the power to say a thousand change the color to whatever we want so this time i'm going to go with green and we also need to select this uh, other light here so we're going to crank up the power to a thousand and we're going to give this some red light so now as you see we can't actually see the colors here and the reason for that is that we are using these lights so we need to go into render view and there we go so these are three different ways you can apply different colors to the same object in blender